Hi, this is Amy from the Alti store. We are continuing on in our series of going over the basics of solar power for the do-it-yourselfers. So uh, we've already talked about the terms, the um, rates and the quantities, amps, volts, watts, uh, amp hours, watt hours. So if you missed all of that, go check that out. Start at the beginning. And now we're gonna talk about the basics of solar panels. So solar panels, are made up of a bunch of solar cells. So you can see here, each rectangle is a cell and they're connected together with a wire. So each cell has about a half a volt and with the wire inside the panel, that actually wires them all in series. And so when you wire something in series, it increases the volts so if each of these cells is putting out a half a volt, with them all wired in series, they're going to total about 18 volts. So this is considered a 12 volt solar panel. It's specifically designed to, to charge a 12 volt battery. Now we say 12 volts, we say 12 volt battery, 12 volt panel, but that's really just the category that we put them in. A 12 volt panel at its maximum power will be about 18 volts. If it's not connected to anything, it's going to be around 22 volts. And that is the correct voltage for charging a 12 volt battery. Now a 12 volt battery, pretty much if you're measuring 12 volts, it's low. So a 12 volt battery is really gonna be closer to about 13 volts. But we put them all in that category so that we're all talking the same thing. 12 volt panel, 12 volt battery. So you can see that this panel, the 12 volt panel has got 36 cells. So 36 cells times a half a volt each equals about 18 volts. Now, if you look behind me, I've actually got a 24 volt panel. So this has twice as many cells. This has got 72 cells as opposed to the 36 cells. So its voltage is twice that of the 12 volt solar panel. So it can actually be used to charge a 24 volt battery bank. Or if you wire two of them in series, because series increases the voltage, you could use that to charge a 48 volt battery bank. So, so current runs from high voltage to low. So you need to make sure that the voltage of the solar panel is higher than the voltage of the battery you're trying to charge. So we're talking volts right now. And this one right here is a seven watt panel. This one right here is also a 12 volt panel. But because each of its cells are bigger, it actually puts out more amps. And as we discussed in our previous videos, watts equals volts times amps. So if the volts are the same, but the amps are higher, it's gonna be a higher wattage. So seven watt panel versus a 65 watt panel. So we've been talking in increments of 12 volts, but there's one more panel that we wanna talk about that's actually probably the most common panels that you'll find out there. And they're traditionally called grid tied panels because they were designed to do on grid, grid tied solar systems with no batteries. So they don't care about being in a 12 volt increment for a battery. So these are known as 20 volt panels. They are 60 cells in series. So they're going to be outputting maybe about 32 volts at their maximum power. Now, I do apologize, I, I do try to compare apples to apples, but because of, because of the lockdown now, I'm restricted to what I've got here in my house. This is actually a half cell panel. So this has 120 half cells. And so they are wired 60 cells in series and then two sets of them in parallel. So when you wire in parallel, you increase the amps. 
So just for this demonstration, let's pretend that these two halves are actually just one cell because really they, they equal that, okay? So I want to compare that with the 72 cell panel. So you see that the cells are right about the same size. So these two panels are probably doing about the same amps, but because this has two more rows of cells, it has 72 cells instead of the 60 cells, this is a higher wattage. So this bigger panel, the 72 cell 24 volt panel, that's about 375 watts, whereas this one is about 325 watts. Okay, so we've talked about the different size panels I've got here. There are also other size panels. For instance, Panasonic makes a 96 cell panel that has an even higher voltage. Now, I had said at the beginning that these nominal voltages were designed to correctly charge a battery. So at the time that these cells came out, you had to actually match the, the voltage of the solar panel with the voltage of the battery. Times have changed, technology's improved. So there are now MPPT charge controllers, maximum power point tracker charge controllers that will take a higher voltage solar panel, drop the voltage on the output, and in doing so, increase the amps on the output. And so you are now able to use a higher voltage solar panel to charge a lower voltage battery. Um, with very few exceptions, you generally need to make sure that the voltage of the solar panel is higher than the battery bank. For example, you can use a 60 cell 20 volt solar panel to charge a 12 volt battery bank, but you don't want to use it to charge a 24 volt battery bank. Now there will be some people that say you can do it. I actually did a video showing why you shouldn't do it. But in general, you want to have the solar panel voltage higher than the battery. So to charge a 24 volt battery bank, you're going to need to have two 60 cell panels in series increasing the voltage and then the MPPT charge controller will drop that voltage down to the correct voltage for charging the battery. Likewise, a 48 volt battery bank, you can use either two 72 cell panels or three 60 cell panels in series and that will go through the MPPT charge controller. Now it has to be a true MPPT charge controller. There's some cheap bleep, we'll say junk out there that uh, for $20 says it's an MPPT charge controller. It's not. Trust me, don't waste your money. It'll only end in tears. Um, spend some money, get a decent MPPT charge controller. It'll take the higher voltage from the panel and charge the lower voltage of the battery bank. So this is probably a good place for us to take a break. I'm going to do another video shortly that will continue on talking about solar panels. And then I'll do some more that talk about the charge controllers and the inverters. So I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like and a share. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so we'll send you a notification when the new videos come out. And don't forget to go to our website at altstore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.